Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Just as a disclaimer right now, I advise you to turn your volume all the way up so that you can hear me clearly because I'm not going to speak any louder than the tone I'm in right now, simply because my son is in between that I want to be up, I want to be sleep phase, and if he hears me, he don't want to be running amok through the palace <laughs> so <laughs> this is a disclaimer um i hope you guys have had a really great day today um again this is another episode of before bed tarot spread and i am personally feeling Secure. Secure is a good word for it. Um, I started my day off today with a prayer of clarity. I asked the divine, I asked God to give me some clarity. I didn't ask for any specific clarity, but God knew what was already on my spirit and already on my heart. So Ask and you shall receive. I want to say this to anybody who may be considering doing the same for them. If if you feel like you're just uncertain about things, <laughs> or if you're a Libra and you're just in the, the land of indecisiveness, um, and there needs to be a choice made, pray for clarity for sure. However, ease into your feelings once God grants you and shows you what you need to see. Because it may not be ideal, but God will always show you the truth. And I believe that truth equals freedom. So in a sense, I was praying to be set free. I was praying for a clarification so that I could move forward to the next level. And I feel secure because God showed me the clarity that I was asking for. And at first, I'm gonna just walk you out through. <laughs> the emotional part of it all because that's really the that's really the hurdle when you're growing through things and I say growing through because a lot of people can go through things and not learn anything it's important if you have to go through things to learn from them to grow into a better individual so in the process of growing through things when I received the clarity at first, it took me back on my tail fin. <laughs> it was like, oh. And something in me wanted to be upset. Something in me wanted to be mad. Something in me wanted to be But I sat with my emotions and I didn't let them overcome me. I just kind of sat with it. And then I asked myself, because again, along growing through our journeys, um, we want to explore our minds with curiosity rather than judgment. So I kind of asked myself, Charlita, why are you feeling this way? Like really? Because you don't have to be mad about this. In fact, you should be grateful about this one because God answered your prayers and like, 
divine timing, but it seemed like, uh, and I knew exactly the moment it happened that that was the answer. And so my perspective shifted from a little bit of upset to, okay, now you know. Now what are you going to do with what you know? And when I say I feel so secure, not that I didn't feel secure before, but it's just those moments when God comes through and shows you (laughs) that source has your back. That's the security in which I feel. I feel secure in the knowledge that I am protected. I am surrounded by the divine and loving energies of the universe. And the scales, sometimes they may be unbalanced, but when that inner knowing comes back into the forefront above all else because people are going to be people we're supposed to be we're human we are flawed we are going to do what we think we're supposed to do and then god is going to come through and (laughs) show us what really needs to be done so all in all i'm just really I'm really grateful and I just wanted to share that little tidbit with y'all. I'm not going to go too far in depth because it is something very near and dear and personal to me, but I hope that I've expressed enough to give you a little bit of courage um, and a little bit of upliftment because I also prayed to be a, a a vessel of upliftment and positivity and growth when I also prayed for clarity. So <clears throat> come through God. I am going to get into our spread now because I ain't trying to make this video too long. But um yeah. What deck should I use? Okay, I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna start with the money and law of attraction deck, okay? Let's hop right into it. Mm. 
y'all <laughs> this first one here number 21 what if everything was always working out for me hmm when you play the what if game look for things that make you feel better there is never a situation in which there is not a way out but out of habit most people continue to choose the quote-unquote lack perspective until they eventually find themselves where it seems that there are no more choices but as you hold to your intention to look for evidence of well-being and thriving and success and happiness you will tune yourself to the vibrations of those things and so those kinds of good feelings experiences will dominate your life hello good moment <laughs> next it says shortages of time and money are perceptual if you are feeling a shortage of time or money your best effort will be would be to focus upon better feeling thoughts and do more things that make you feel good your time is a perceptual thing and even though the clock is ticking the same for everyone your alignment affects your perception as well as the results that you allow so as you observe the enormous differences in the efforts that people apply and the results they achieve you have to conclude that there is more to the equation of achieving than action alone okay it's all about better feelings it's all about perspective man it's it's so mental it's not even <laughs> it's all mental okay appreciation and love are identical vibrations and by the way doing this makes me feel better so a wise woman once told me that spirituality heals you i was getting a personal uh session slash reading done for myself and her words spoke to me so deep she told me you know spirituality really heals you so why not heal others and that's what i mean about the difference between going through something and growing through something y'all <sighs> i'm gonna see you to read <laughs> appreciation and love are identical vibrations appreciation is the vibration of alignment with who you are <laughs> appreciation is the absence of everything that feels bad in the presence of everything that feels good when you focus upon what you want when you tell the story of how you want your life to be you will come closer and closer to the vicinity of appreciation and when you reach it it will pull you towards all things that you consider to be good in a very powerful way beautiful and this is 58 and you know five plus three is 58 <laughs> it's 53 and five plus three is eight and we all know what eight symbolizes in numerology if you don't it symbolizes the number of self it symbolizes the number of universal law karma dharma cause and effect and it also 
symbolizes the number of abundance. So beautiful. Sorry, the last one was number uh, 56 and that reduces to um, 11. And 11 in numerology symbolizes the number of master teacher 22 is also a master number 11 22 and 22 sorry are our master numbers 11 is the master teacher 22 is the master builder okay i'm not just pulling this out of thin air you know you guys can feel free to look up these meanings yourself i encourage you to actually and the first number was 21 which is three reduced and three is all about Ascended Masters, um, three is also a number and vibration of creativity. Um, so this was very powerful and I feel like it's resonating with the little story, um, the things that was on my spirit that I felt led to share with you guys before we even got started. And I love when that happens. It's like, God be clarifying everything that I feel and what I need to hear and what I need to say to you guys. That's all with a message. Okay. I'm going to just pull a couple more cards from the Work Your Light tarot deck and um, not tarot deck, oracle deck, excuse me. And um, I think I'm just going to pull from them two piles tonight. Okay. If you are still watching and you're enjoying the video so far, go ahead and hit that like button for me so that I know that this spread is resonating with you, that you find this helpful. If you're still with me, just pause for a second and say, thank you, source. Thank you, God, whoever you pray to. Just take a moment and say thank you. Express your gratitude. Vocalize it. Because I, I promise you one thing. When God comes through, God comes through. And that is the unconditional love that I couldn't trade for the world, you know? And if you feel the same, don't feel ashamed whatsoever to vocally express that. And you're not too cool for nothing, okay? <laughs> don't feel embarrassed. Don't feel shy about it. Because I can... <laughs> Again, humans are flawed, you know, uh, out of the many people that have showed me love outside of my mother. God's love is unconditional. <laughs> Share your voice. They come out of the cave. Persecution. Expression. Share your voice. And I just say vocalize it. You gotta speak up. You know that it's all right. Especially if you're being of service. Especially if you're doing it for God, 
and for the people. And that's all that matters. I'm going to try to upload this video on um, Instagram as well as my uh, channel on YouTube. If my phone allows me to, then I will. Sometimes the app be acting weird. Like, if you're familiar with Instagram, you know, it gives you the options to share a short or a long video. And sometimes it don't be giving me that option. So I just be kind of rolling with it. Like, all right, well, maybe this video or this particular thing isn't meant to be shared. But I'm going to try to tonight just because I feel like a lot of people may not necessarily gravitate towards YouTube, but I'm only on YouTube and Instagram. Those are the only two kind of social media outlets that I participate in. And I really feel like this message needs to reach my followers, my family, my Insta fan. And like I said, YouTube may not be everybody's cup of tea. So I ain't gonna hold nobody to it. But I'm gonna definitely try to upload it to both platforms, okay? Just a little something extra for y'all. <laughs> All right. See, so first, can we get two more cards at least? Two more? Gave me three. Uno memento. Yep. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. Came up. So this card kind of relates to the Ascended Masters. Buddha, Jesus, um, who else can I see within here that speaks to me, that pulls out? Um, Mother Mary, I see Buddha, I see Jesus. Um, forgive me, I don't know everybody, but guide it. Play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. And that is definitely in my plans, okay? Because today is the last day of my 20s. E I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for my 30s. I'm just, I'm really excited. <laughs> my favorite card, one of my favorite cards in the Work Your Light deck, Palladium's. And I would definitely consider myself this this card shows itself a lot in the readings that I do for me personally, just when I feel like I need some guidance. And it says double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. I tell y'all, God be coming through, God be coming through. Okay, <laughs> well, I'm going to leave that there. I hope that these messages help. They definitely help me. Um, and that's all I could ever hope for. So, again, if you guys enjoyed this, like this video, leave me some love in the comments, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Her Point of View, and I will catch y'all manana on my B-Day. Mm-hmm. <laughs>